Like most of North London, Camden started out as peaceful countryside. The first recorded settlement of Camden was on Hampstead Heath and dates back to around 7000 BC. After the Roman invasion of Britain, soldiers in the city of Londinium would march along the highway leading to the west, which we now call High Holborn and Oxford Street. The manors of Totele, Tottenham Court, Rugmere, St Pancras, Hampstead and Holborn are recorded in the Doomsday Survey of 1086 as small hamlets where the inhabitants tilled the soil and raised pigs in the woods. Holborn. The name comes from the Anglo-Saxon burner, a stream, and hol, a hollow, a stream in hollow. In and round Holborn, London's legal quarter developed from 14th century lawyers who met up in the inns for mutual training and support. Gray's Inn and Lincoln's Inn are examples which still exist. The first outbreak of the Great Plague of 1665 occurred nearby and the parish was one of the worst affected. Holborn, in part, survived the Great Fire of London in 1666 and so its past is preserved in buildings such as the Staple Inn which dates back to 1586 and is a familiar landmark with its jumbled black and white half timbered frontage overhanging the ground level shops in High Holborn. Charles Dickens lived locally in Doughty Street. Bloomsbury. Bloomsbury, once Belmundsbury, takes its name from one William de Blemund, a landowner of the 13th century. Later the estate passed to Lord Southampton and then to the Duke of Bedford, who began laying out an area of elegant squares and streets for wealthy and fashionable Londoners of his day. One of the most attractive and complete 18th century squares in London is indeed Bedford Square. Many innovations and inventions took place in this area. Authors and artists later settled here during the first half of the 20th century, including Virginia Woolf and other members of the Bloomsbury Group. Their work deeply influenced literature, aesthetics, criticism and economics, as well as modern attitudes towards feminism, pacifism and sexuality. They attempted to establish a new social order based on liberation from the restrictive norms of established society. Fitzrovia. The village around the manor house of Tottenham Court disappeared under 19th and 20th century developments along the Euston Road and Hampstead Road, leaving only the name of the road leading to it, Tottenham Court Road. Fitzrovia is named after Fitzroy Tavern, a public house on Charlotte Street. Charles Fitzroy, 
later Barron Southampton, first developed the northern part of the area in the 18th century. An area of craftsmen, writers and artists, it shared with Soho a very bohemian atmosphere from 1920 until the present day. King's Cross King's Cross was previously known as Battle Bridge. It is said that it took its name from a battle between Boudicca's army and the Romans at what is now called King's Cross Bridge. In 1830, a short-lived monument to George IV was erected at the junction of Euston, Gray's Inn and Pentonville Roads. Euston Road, initially called the New Road from Paddington to Islington and London's first bypass road, was opened in 1756. Lord Summers was a landowner who took advantage of its construction to develop his fields as Summers Town. This area later became home for many refugees from the French Revolution and people fleeing from Spanish ruled lands, particularly from South America. The 18th and 19th centuries saw the arrival of the first canals and then railways. These transformed an until then semi-rural King's Cross into an urban area of slums and workmen's lodgings. The arrival of the railway stations Euston in 1837, King's Cross in 1852 and St Pancras in 1868, together with their extensive goods yards and sidings, provided massive employment and encouraged local industrialisation. The borough became a major centre for the piano, organ and furniture industries, light engineering and scientific instruments. Following the Second World War, King's Cross underwent economic decline. By the 1990s, the district around King's Cross was in need of regeneration. The King's Cross partnership was established to fund regeneration projects. St Pancras St Pancras started off as a medieval parish almost as big as today's Camden. The original focus of St Pancras was St Pancras Old Church, one of the oldest sites of Christian worship in Great Britain. It was named by a young nobleman who suffered martyrdom in Rome for his adherence to the Christian faith. He became a favourite saint in England. 